So I'm treasure hunting with Bryce down by the Loire on this beautifully harrowed field. And he's brought some friends along, so we're hoping to hammer this field and come up with some great stuff. So, amazing field, another Cistercius for me, chill, only find Cistercius, Bill, and we've still got many, many hours before we collapse on dehydration to see what else we can find. It's being brilliant. Well, that's going to be, oh, I should say it's a medieval, but it's looking a bit older and certainly a bit weirder than that. But right now, I'm going to say that is a medieval, low quality silver coin. Very good. And yes, it was a sketchy signal. Fabian, or Fabian, has just found a lovely find. And I've close enough of a stagger over here. And look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that lovely buckle. That's a good. Uh... Fantastic. Fantastic buckle, congratulations. Thank well done. you. Magnifique. So Aurelia has found, after lunch so far in about 35 minutes, these three coins and a nice copper ring. So these are revolutionary five centimes. And this is a coin. And that is obviously a, um, a Celtic nose ring or something <laughs> similar. There you go. See, he knows. So this is a tap and the liquid goes in here and it comes out there so you turn it but it's obviously in the shape of some animal so I say it's medieval that's a wonderful find is it Bryce is this yours no, it's dumb it's him the finders of masterpieces <laughs> Dominic congratulations how about that then a spectacle buckle with a pin still in it magic Well, it started to be very pooped here, being on the field for about, oh, I don't know, four-ish hours, maybe more. But you can't just stop, not on a field like this. You've got to go on. You've got to push yourself to your limits. So Bryce has found my buckle's brother. Look at that. It's the same blooming buckle. Apart from mine's still got the iron tang on it. That's amazing. So that's got to be off the same garment, hasn't it? It's got to be from the same person. Isn't that amazing? about 40 foot apart, well, maybe 50 foot. Fabian has brought me a lump of mud, which only means one thing, that there's something in that piece of mud. So Fabian's looking happy, isn't he? And we don't know what's in it yet, but we're gonna have a look. Where okay, it's, it's, it's mud. Oh, it's a double tournoi. Double tournoi? Double tournoi, yeah. It's 
pense que c'est un, un, ouais, un petit double. Oh, il est rincé. Il est In petit. situ. Fantastic. There you go. We're having a bonanza here. Très bien. Merci beaucoup et congratulations. And there's a run. What a day! So Bryce has got a nice coin. A billion liard. So that's like a penny, but it's not really silver, but it's got a bit of splash of silver in it. And that's sort of fifth. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a very nice one. I want this. Give it to me. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a very, very nice one. And that's sort of, oh, 1400. Yeah, yeah 1400. 1500. 1500s. Very nice, Bryce. Oh, yes. That's what you want. Beautiful gun. So Aurelian, the treasure magnet, has found another great find. Another one. Wow. A bit gruesome, I'd say, but pretty awesome. So that would be a, well, Bryce said a fantasy ring, meaning it's out of a cracker or equivalent. But even so, it's still a cracker. The Bryce has got a silver thing there, and I'm tempted to flick it out, yeah. but it is fine. Go on, you flick it out. Mm. That's silver, isn't it? I don't know. Or zip. Not really old. I think it's modern. I think it's a zip. Piece of a zip. Yes. Oh well. Of course. You never know. It's not gold or silver, but I like it. Let's go and have a look. It's got a pattern on it. There we are. Wow. It feels very light though. It's a part of a teaspoon. Yeah. Obviously a Roman teaspoon, clearly. <laughs> Well, Bryce has just found a tiny little bronze nail with the Deus elliptic coil, which is just the sort of thing that it finds, which is often incredibly annoying when you're finding two two yes. um, sh bullets. But every now and again, you find something fantastic like that. Brilliant. Well done, Bryce. Nice one. I've got a coin down here. I reckon I've got 86 anyway. This is a joint venture between me and Bryce, and we think there's a coin under that spade a little way. We're about to find out. And actually, I've got it. Let's. It's either in that rubble. Oh, we're going to get a very big bit yeah. of iron here. I think so. I'm glad you're no. digging. Oh, no. no. No? It's here. Hey! That can't. Oh, it can't be. Cartouche. No, it can't be. <laughs> A okay. silver one. <laughs> That's a first. Silver. How can that be so big? He's a magician. He swapped my Sesterceus for a shotgun <laughs> cartridge. It's a slight hand, I can tell. Oh, an old ring money. <laughs> an old, a very old spindle whirl. Yeah. That's more like, oh, 14, 1500s, rather than the mm -hmm. ones with the lumps on, which are sort of like 16, 1700s. Dollar posh. Dollar posh. Well, this is another Bryce find, and it's a watch winder and that's where the key was and i have a theory about these why you find so many in fields is that they didn't put them on their watch chain they put them in their pocket and hence lost them on mass another nice one bryce mr sesterceus maximus has found this which is a fantastic button i've not seen the likes of that it's made in paris and it's some rich fellas coat of arms and if you know whose coat of arms that is post below so if you know post below in that fab copper masonry now not putting that in my pocket i think we're going to be ending on this farmer's brace clip because i'm pooped and i've got a pocket full of treasure so i don't think i need to take any more but what i do need is to sit down So Aurelian, the treasure magnet, <laughs> has found a silver ring. So with two hands shaking, a silver ring. That's got to be Roman, right? No. No? <laughs> Not Roman? Okay. <laughs> I like to think so. <laughs> Congratulations again, Aurelian. The guy's a legend. Now, if I didn't think I was being a little bit optimistic, I think that's scale armour. And that would be nailed onto leather. And, of course, we all know who did that the romans but of course it isn't it's a load of rubbish but that's what i'm thinking that is that's my hope anyway
So there's a little nail stuck in the clod. A little brass nail. I can't actually see on my view screen what I'm showing you because it's so bright, but I think... There we go. And there it is. I got my second wind, I drank a couple of gallons of water, I had a sandwich, and I got me oomph back, and I've just jumped across through and in and out of a very large ditch with the lads who are out there. Well, you saw the legend of Relian finding that beautiful silver ring with a hands clasp on it. Well, I got something nice down here, not quite a silver ring with hands clasping, but pretty good, I reckon. I almost said pretty close, but it's not close, but it's pretty good. I like it. Have a look. I kicked this up, I thought this was going to be a coin, but it's not. It's a really, really old thimble. That is a very old thimble. Look at the pattern on that. Yeah, we like them thimbles. Wow, that's a great one. Hey, hey. there you go. Excellent. A pretty good way to end the day. But Bryce is coming over. You got something? Cestercius Maximus, I catch up with him. Wow. Well done, Dominique. So this is what he's found. A silver button. Look at that. Un bouton argent. Un bouton ou bague. Ou or un bag. So, my friends, that means perhaps it's the top of a ring. Not just a button. Could be either. There we are. Fantastic silver button or ring head. Beautiful. Yes. Napoleon's 100 Legion off a soldier's coat. Sans point. Sans point. I was going to say, I'll see your medieval buckle and I'll raise you a medieval ah, thimble. thimble. <laughs> yes. But I think your buckle's nicer. So just to cap it off, Bryce has got a liard. I think it's older. He thinks it's a liard. I think it might be something a bit older because it's not quite round enough. But it may have been clipped by the plough. So today, five guys, we found 70 coins. I found 10, including that marvellous Sturcy and a couple of really old ones and lots of lovely stuff. And they all found lovely stuff. We just won today. What a fantastic day out. Thanks, Bryce. Hours in the blazing sun and a fantastic day. Amazing. Thank you very much, Bryce, for inviting me along to this amazing field. What a fantastic hunt. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like. See you again soon. Bye now. This is the end. Fuck.